All right, so this is the OnePlus 7 and this is my first impressions of the device. And I'm gonna do it in the four categories I normally review things in, but this is not a review. This is just the first impressions. So when we start with the design, I'm really loving this new color, especially the blue. This is definitely my favorite. It doesn't look like glass, but it is glass. And now straight away you can see they've got the triple cameras. They've got the Sony 48 IMX sensor in there. They've also got a telephoto and a wide, which is really, really cool. It's going to be cool to test these out. Another design upgrade here is the fact that you've got the full screen now. So I'm still using my OnePlus 6T and you've got the notch at the top. Full screen display and it kind of curves around the edges as well. The button placement is almost identical to what it was last year. You still got the alert slider, the classic OnePlus alert slider, which has been there all the way through all of the generations of the phone. Another really cool upgrade here is now you've got stereo speakers. So you've actually got a little vent across the top and the speaker placement at the bottom, still where it was before. And you've got the SIM tray down there at the bottom. And of course you've got USB warp charging, 30 watts, which is actually faster than the OnePlus 6T. And I'm still really impressed with the charging speeds on this. But anyway, when it comes to usability, they've now got a faster fingerprint sensor and the OnePlus fingerprint sensor was pretty good before. So I'm gonna be really interested to check that out. Another massive, huge difference to the usability is the selfie camera. So you've got this pop-up selfie camera here. It makes a little bit of a mechanical noise when you open and close it. They say if you have this open and you drop it, it will actually close automatically. I'm not sure if I wanna test that now. Maybe I'll test it. There we go, look, yeah, closed. So it knows when the phone is in free fall and should save that mechanism for you. Of course, when it comes to a usability side of things, it's definitely gonna be faster. You can actually have up to 12 gigs of RAM, which means crazy amount of backgrounding power in this device. And you've got the latest Snapdragon 855, which if you don't know, it's the fastest phone processor on the market today, seven nanometer tech. Another really significant difference here when it comes to usability especially when gaming is the 90 hertz refresh rate on the screen itself and that's really significant it means you're not going to see any glitches any stutters or stumbles especially when gaming but also for movies and stuff like that it's going to be really cool any kind of animations in general when it comes to the quality of the device at the price point these are going out at I'm really, really impressed. This is a flagship phone, but you're paying at least 40% less than what the competitors are. And the build quality, everything about it is just so premium. Really, really awesome. It is a very high quality device and sound quality is not bad as well. When it comes to awesome features, there's too many to talk about, but the main ones for me is that selfie camera. I love the way it pops up. I know, I know there's a bit of a risk there of dropping it or spilling a drink and it gets stuck inside, but you kind of have to run that risk if you want a full screen display like this. I also think the finish on the back is really, really awesome. That's a fantastic, awesome feature. Look how the light shines off it. It's just so nice. And the last awesome feature that we'll talk about today, and it's probably the one I'm the most interested in, is the cameras itself. I want to see how good these really are. And uh, also that selfie camera, 16 megapixels as well. So how good is that really going to be? I think it's going to be awesome. Well, we're about to find out in the future. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. First look of the OnePlus 7. See you guys in the next one. Don't be late.